hi everybody welcome back to my channel and to this video i do apologize if there is a whole bunch of background noise there is a festival going on next door to me today so there's quite a bit of noise around but i also need to film this today so hey hopefully we're all good but yes this video is a wrap up of my march hashtag so during the month of March, I ran the hashtag Mythomorphia March Madness 23. This is my first ever hashtag and honestly, it was so amazing. I cannot thank everyone enough who helped participate in this because it definitely helped me be inspired to push through and to complete so many pages in Mythomorphia. So if you didn't know, I completed 20 12 pages in here and that's over I believe 10 spreads from memory um two single sided and then hold up no five double sided spreads and two single sided spreads so seven spreads and about 12 pages I think that's how it works out I can't math it's too early in the morning and haven't had enough coffee <laughs> um but yeah if you want to see the pages and the spreads that I did. Please go and watch my March completed pages video. I will link that up below, uh, up in the thingamabob and down below for you so you can go and check out the actual individual completed pages. It was a lot and I'm very proud. But what you are here for is the far more interesting and exciting part in my mind which is all the work that was submitted with my hashtag. I was blown away by how many people participated in this hashtag and how many beautiful entries there were. There were a couple that unfortunately submitted with Mythic World rather than Mythomorphia, which I get it, myth, myth. But yeah, unfortunately it was Mythomorphia only, so I didn't include those ones. Um, but thank you to those that also submitted with the hashtag. But yes, without further ado, I'm going to put in a little slideshow showing all the wonderful, amazing, gorgeous pages that were submitted with the hashtag. Let's talk about April. Now, I know for a lot of the world, April is about moving into spring and Easter and, you know, happy spring, bright colours. In New Zealand, in the Southern Hemisphere, we're moving into autumn. We're moving into our cosy fall vibes and sweaters and... I have decided to go a different way this month 
for the hashtag. For a start, this hashtag will apply to all Kirby books. It is not just Mythomorphia, however, Mythomorphia has a lot of options for this hashtag. And how it came about was during one of my Twitch live streams, me and the chat were chatting and a topic kept coming up. And I was showing some of the pages that I had yet to work in Mythomorphia and a theme was noticed that was relating to this topic. And so chat asked if we could have a month focusing on this. And I'm like, absolutely, because that'll push me to get more pages done. You're engaged in it. And also chat is popping and I love them. So if you ever want to, you know, help influence what I color, come hang out in my Twitch channel. Um, I live stream every Tuesday and this month I'll also be live streaming on Fridays at 10 a.m. New Zealand Standard Time. Um, yeah, come hang out. It's a good time. It's absolutely free to sign up. Um, you don't even have to sign up to watch when I'm live, but you do have to sign up to comment. So, yeah, um, you don't have to pay or anything. You can, you don't have to. It's absolutely free. And it's a good time. We just hang out and chat and colour. But the topic that came up was mushrooms. Mushrooms kept on coming up. And so the theme and the hashtag for this month is Kirby's Fungi Fun April 23. This is a hashtag for the entirety of April. And basically any Kirby Roseanne's page with a mushroom counts. Um, so I have pulled out <laughs> my Kirby collection minus the um, books that are... Uh, collaborative books you know bits from lots of different books obviously if a picture I show is in like World of Colour or Kaleidomorphia or any of those ones please feel free to use it <laughs> it's still a Kirby book um, I also haven't pulled out Doodle Invasion which I do have that book also counts calendars count basically anything by Kirby Rose Arms if it has a mushroom it counts but let's take you through some of the pages because oh my goodness when I was going through the books we've got some options so we'll start with Wonder Morphia oh don't lose the tag so we have the Bat Cave um, and as you can see there is all this sort of growth down here so this is an example of where like these could be taken as plants or they could be taken as fungal growths and we there are mushrooms that do kind of look like this or have the spore clusters on top so you could color this with the intention of making those little growths mushrooms and then this page will fit into the prompt and then a much more <laughs> obvious page for the prompt is of course our little sprout with all their grumpy little mushroom friends so this is an absolutely perfect page for Kirby's Fungi Fun April 23 uh, yeah so that's what I found in Wonder Morphia and Imagine Morphia we found a couple oh, come here so with this panda we have a mushroom so it's not a mushroom themed page but there's a mushroom on the page so it would count towards the hashtag so it doesn't have to be the full emphasis of the page literally if there is a mushroom hidden on the page that's a Kirby Roseanne's page counts towards the hashtag <laughs> I must have spied a mushroom in here somewhere. Unless you've moved off the page. Nope. It's stuck on this side. It's like playing spot the mushroom. I was going through. Ah, there we go. Yep. See, there's one tiny mushroom. Spot the mushroom is kind of what I was playing. So, again, these pineapples. It's not the whole, whole focus, but there's a couple of little mushrooms in there. So, counts towards the hashtag. Oh. 
and this is a similar vein as well so there's like a mushroom down here I think I did spy another mushroom somewhere else but it's not screaming out to me right now but same idea it's got a mushroom on the page so it counts so if you've got any of these pages that you started and you haven't come back to or you've been wanting to color but you just needed a motivation to do so this is your you know prompt to get started on it and there's a lot of flexibility in this one and then we have the rabbit so obviously this one is very clearly a mushroom focused page so this one really does tie into the hashtag um, we've got a lot of mushrooms on this page right there's quite a few in anamorphia surprisingly but there's quite a few of this type of style in anamorphia where you've got a animal and then you've got a lot of the doodly creatures around so there's a lot of these sort of mushrooms hidden in a page um, so yeah, there's a couple more there, a couple more there. And same star, we have the parrot, and then of course there's some mushrooms hidden in the doodles. So I think a lot of anamorphia was like this. Yeah, same concept again, we've got the leopards and then we've got some mushrooms on the page in the doodles. Um, one thing I did think of with this too, I haven't bookmarked any of them, but any of these pages where you have to complete the design, if you fill it in with mushroom elements, that can also relate to. Um, I think there's one where it had quite a bit of open expanse, so yeah. So once again our lizard here and in the doodles we have a bunch of mushrooms so this is what i mean there's quite a bit in anamorphia of these sort of existing doodle pages ah see this is the one i was thinking of if you wanted to add some mushrooms into this as well um could be quite fun and that would count as well so if you alter a page to be mushrooms it will count so same concept again, we have our flamingos and then we have a couple of mushrooms buried in the doodles. And then our monkeys and there's a couple of mushrooms on the branch. So this would also count towards the hashtag. I should make sure I'm actually in frame. <laughs> so yeah, quite a few options in Animorphia. Now. I went through Fragile World, and I admit, I am doing this, I was doing this as a quick flick. I did not, on my first pass, see any mushrooms in here. I could be wrong. Please feel free to sit down and have a good look. If you find mushrooms in here, please, this is still included. It's just at my first glance, when I was flicking through Fragile World, I did not find any mushrooms. But Fragile World still counts if you can find mushrooms. Within, worlds within worlds, we've got a couple of options. Oop, yank out the tab. <laughs> so this book belongs to page is obviously a good example because we've got a lot of mushrooms in here. So again, it's not the focus of the page, but mushrooms are there, so this would count. The Mushroom Kingdom is very clearly a fungi, so very clearly a part of this hashtag. Like, that's ultimate mushroom page, really, isn't it? <laughs> and then... No, one more. A couple more. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, see? Um, so if you count this as a page, this would also count as a page for the hashtag this is just a copy of their um, nameplate page however so you know don't I don't count this page because it's already in there as part of the nameplate spread but that would count if you choose to color that page all 
Right, in Mythic World, I found a couple of options. So, this creature here, which I should have actually looked up at the back of what it was. Now, this does not have your typical mushroom standard cat style mushrooms. But, as I was explaining before, uh, there are a lot of these sort of weird growth so you could do these as fungi because fungi isn't just like your typical mushroom with the cap and the stalk fungies do grow in different shapes and styles and all sorts of weird growth so a lot of these little growths on the tree and on her could be considered fungi which would add to the page like these ones in particular up here um, I think they're called oyster mushrooms. It reminds me a lot about of them. So this is where, um, you know, like not just at face value, you can make this a page with mushrooms. It's a very, like last month was very specific. This month we're going very general with our hashtag. And then just have to be careful because this tag has come a bit loose. Was it this one? I feel like it was this one. Oh, yes, it was, because I see them. So just buried down here, there's a couple of mushrooms. So a little centaur archer here counts towards the hashtag as well. All right. Alien worlds. You can see the number of tags in here. <laughs> And the thing with Alien Worlds is it is that concept of fungi. So a lot of stuff can be considered fungi. But also because it's alien, who are we to say what plants are and aren't fungi? So I marked some, but you could genuinely go through and mark the majority of this book. Like straight away on this page, this contents page, we have some very clear mushrooms or mushroom-esque shapes so the contents page would definitely fit um, <clears throat> and any of these sort of overgrown forest pages like clearly here we have some mushroom-esque shapes again I say that because maybe they're not mushrooms maybe these are considered flowers in the universe you know like again it's alien so who's to say but who's to say these aren't all mushrooms? Who's to say that, you know, this isn't a fungi or this isn't a fungi? Like, you could really go a bit liberal <laughs> with this in Alien Worlds. Um, but yeah, this one in particular, like, very clearly mushroom fungi styles in here. Um, and if you choose to take a page and, for example, this one here and you're claiming these are fungi i'm gonna ask that you kind of explain it because like otherwise i'm gonna look at this and go hmm are you actually using the hashtag or not i don't know um but yeah this is obviously another page over here again we have those mushroom s growths um i say that and i've just spotted all this over here and they are a particular type of puffball mushroom so straight away that looks like puffball mushroom so you know like <laughs> This Alien Worlds one, there are so many options. Um, I don't think I, I did mark this one. I was going to say, I don't think I marked this page, but everything like on here, these little floating discs could be mushrooms that are now sporing and spores go everywhere. Um, again, we've got random growth. So yeah, a, pretty much a lot of Alien Worlds fits into the hashtag um, just because of the fact it's alien. So who's to say? Uh, so yeah this was another one I think I marked because even though like at first glance I think these are eggs but then they're also growing out from the ground in the way mushrooms or spores do or fungi so who's to say these aren't fungi you know um Like, I could have essentially... Shush, fine. <laughs> Shush! Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot to put it on silent. Oh, 
so yeah, very clear mushroom is shape on this one. Um, that one's kind of a bit obvious um, because we have a mushroom esque shape. Uh, so again, with this one, we've got mushrooms right here. So this one would apply to the hashtag. Um, you could technically maybe argue these are fungal spores or like I was considering the growths on the trees but to me they read as crystals because this is the crystal kingdom so it's all in your artist interpretation and that's what I love about this book is just how much can be interpreted by you see I forgot to mark the page but we have mushrooms on this one so this page also counts this is what I mean. You can just keep going through this book and finding so many that fit in. Um, and a lot of this overgrown landscapes also fit into the theme. Uh, so this one here, you know, we've got a giant mushroom-esque shape again. And then the introduction page, uh, the cover page, sorry. And then... Again, overgrown forest and lots of potential growths and spores and, you know, like the puffballs again. Um, so, yeah, it's like you can push these a lot. Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry. One of my discords is popping right now. <laughs> so, yeah, Alien Worlds, as you can see, quite a few options in Alien Worlds. And then, the big one, Mythomorphia. So there is a lot of Mythomorphia that fits into this hashtag, which is how it came up with my chat. And you'll see I've got two different colour tags here. Green are ones, are pages that I've already done, but I'll show you because they are options. And pink are pages I have not touched, and the ones that I will be trying to complete this month. Which is a lot more than six, but we'll see how we go. Oh my gosh, I hope that festival's getting very loud, so I hope it's not picking up too much. So, the first page that I have completed, but would apply to this hashtag, is of course the white stag, because we have mushrooms. Um, And the only reason I'm focusing so much on Mythomorphia this month is because of the fact I have my Mythomorphia goal. So I need to complete a lot of Mythomorphia. Um, so then we have the Mushroom Gnome. So this is one of the pages that my chat saw and was like, please, please, please. So this is one of my pages for the month, hopefully. I don't like to keep post-its in there because this is why. That was a yellow post-it that stained the page, so... And then, the next one is this little tree knoll creature. Uh, again, very obvious, lots of mushrooms, so very clearly fits into the hashtag. Oh my goodness, this book. <laughs> uh, so another big spread is these two here, and of course we do have little mushrooms growing off the side here. I think there's some more around here somewhere. Um, been playing spot the mushroom so long at the moment, but yeah, definitely even with these two, counts towards the hashtag. Um, and then we have this kitsune. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but oh, I love this spread. And of course, we've got mushrooms, so it counts! Which is exciting, because I've been wanting to tackle this one for a while, so I'm excited to get started on that. So another one that I have completed, but would count, is the tree nymph. Uh, because again, we've got all these mushrooms down here. And this is what I mean, when I coloured the mushrooms, I coloured them all red, so that they would tie in. But I even coloured in these bigger sort of ones as well so consider them the same so that's what you can do on your page is you can consider these ones sort of mushroom growths as well honestly mushrooms come in all shapes and sizes they're so pretty cool uh, my discord chat has been spamming me with inspiration photos of mushrooms in preparation for this which has been amazing so 
the last finish off in this book for Sator because we have a couple of mushrooms this one will count towards the hashtag so if I had not finished this last month and left it just slightly unfinished and finished it this month I could have put it in this month's hashtag <laughs> but that's okay because it meant that we got 12 pages completed last month which is awesome um and then I think this is our next one it is oops so yes, this one has actually been on a couple of I will complete that this month requests. So really do want to tackle this one this month. Um, very obvious, lots of mushrooms. Yeah, this one has been a I'm going to tackle this this month page for a while. So this is the month. <laughs> and then one more page right at the back here. Which, of course, is the Rainbow Dragon. So this is similar to Anamorphia, where we have our main creature. But because there's some mushrooms in the doodles, this page counts. So yeah, that is every... That is some suggestions of pages. Again, I was just doing a quick flip through, so it's entirely possible I have missed pages. And there are even more pages in there that would count towards the hashtag. So how you participate, just like usual, is you colour in your page, you upload it to Instagram or Facebook or do YouTube videos, however you want to share it. Um, and then if you can tag me at Amy Ward Art on Instagram and use the hashtag Kirby's Fungi Fun April 23 or if you for example do a youtube video use the hashtag in your video and mention me and then you'll need to email me the final image um, which you can do at artbyamyward at gmail.com uh, and yeah at the end of the month i will do this again where i make a little collaboration video to show off all the amazing submissions and hopefully get inspired to keep smashing out the mythomorphia and get this book done Thank you so, so much for watching and listening and hopefully not being too distracted by the background noise of that festival. <laughs> oh, thank you again, guys. I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.